I'm now to the place where I think how much longer do I want to live like this? How much longer can I actually go before Alice takes me? I want to go out on my terms. To say it's hard is an understatement. We are all going there, just not sure when. Yeah, I remember having a conversation with him about the road trip. Like, hey, are we doing this? I feel like our time's gonna be running out here pretty soon. So I get this email that we're gonna go on a road trip and I have no idea what this means. I was like, Gary, you sure you wanna do this? He's like, yeah, I wanna do this. I'm hoping to see some places on this trip that I have never visited before. Trying to stop and see some amazing places along the way. I am hoping to camp out under the stars and share this time with some amazing people. You know, this is a very ambitious adventure to take on. From the moment of diagnosis, we were all sitting there like, just give us the word. To see what he was going through, it humbled me and it made me realize what's important. There was definitely a thought some days, it's like, is this guy gonna die on this trip? I will probably not see some of my friends again before I pass. So it also became a trip of goodbyes in a sense. I said one or two goodbyes that I thought might be the final one, but when this one happened, I knew. I was told once, you're lucky you have the gift of time. Watching your child suffer, it's not the gift of time. Van's broken, we gotta get him home. The trip's done. Van's broken, trip's done. Gary said he wants to do this, we're gonna figure it out. See, this is why I roll with this crew. Because when faced with defeat, we keep going. And I remember asking him, what advice do you have for us? He gave us the answer and it was, stop living for tomorrow and live for right now. That's what the trip was about, is just enjoying the time with each other and just put the negative behind you and just keep going forward. 